<laughs> NFL injuries are a sight all too familiar. The speculation of fans serving as doctors to determine a player's injury through the brutal nature of the sport. Ryan Shazier was the number 15 overall pick out of Ohio State in 2014, selected by the Roonies in Pittsburgh. And yet just three years later, on Monday Night Football, this happened. Plenty of time for Dalton. They're short of the first down on the catch by the rookie. With Cincy wide receiver Josh Malone going across the middle of the field on a short crossing route, Shazier came flying in to tackle him, lowered his head, and after making the tackle, immediately started grabbing at his back. Shazier's knees went limp, he grabbed for his spine, was immobilized, and taken to a local hospital. Prayers were put out on social media from various players just hoping for any good sign, a sign of positivity and Shazier's well-being. Shazier's father told the SPN his son had spinal stabilization surgery in the days after. The prognosis was worrying. Paralysis was a concern in the days after the injury. To get to this point you saw previously in this video seems unheard of. Maybe a miracle is a better way to phrase it. Shazier has worked his tail off since the injury. Just days after surgery, there was Shazier from the hospital rooting on his team. Then, weeks after the injury, retained to a wheelchair, Shazier returned, and it was bone chilling. <laughs> Prior to the 2018 playoffs, Shazier was with his team. The first post of progress we saw as the family remained private. February of last year, Shazier was discharged from inpatient therapy, posting on Instagram with his quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger, prior to the Eagles winning the Super Bowl. The truest underdog, Shazier, was reported to have regained movement in his legs, engaging in a regular walking routine. He served as an honorary captain and his alma mater of Ohio State University, then a shock to football fans everywhere. Shazier made a public appearance, welcoming the new generation of football players. At the Pittsburgh Steelers' this Friday Night Lights practice, an annual tradition, Shazier did not wheel, but walked the length of the football field, unassisted for the first time. A triumphant moment for a player that, with the knowledge we had, were uncertain he would ever walk again. You know what doctors said? They told Shazier there was less than a 20% chance he'd walk again. Shazier's teammate Cam Hayward would say, he is a hero to me because most people aren't built that way. Shazier is. He displayed it through the one outlet we were allowed access, through his social media. He dug deep, continuing treacherous and trying rehab on his body, and the world was watching. His deadlift video grossed over 1 million views, which brings us back to his box jump video. The first boxes were a lot lower than that, he said. It all began with just trying to jump. No box. It slowly graduated to what you see in that video. His next goal? My dream is to come back and play football again. I've been working my tail off every single day, so I have that in the back of my mind every single time I go to rehab. I just try to stay positive every day. So I'm just trying to do everything I can to get back. We're rooting for him. And everyone at home who's a football fan, you should too.